Hey guys, it's Zoe here. First thing I want to say, do not mind my pimple right here. I've had it for a few days and it's driving me crazy, but try to ignore that. I feel like you would have not even knew it was there if I didn't say it, but if you happen to see it, just ignore it. So anyway, let's get right into this video. So today I'm going to be doing my fall essentials for 2017. This is not going to be Halloween related. Maybe I'll do a whole video separate to that because I'm obsessed with Halloween. I love Halloween. And to me, even though Halloween's in the fall, fall and Halloween are like kind of separate things for me. I don't know if that makes sense. It's hard to explain. But this is just going to be for like just general fall stuff. So I'll talk about like, you know, little things that get me in the vibe you can see some things in the background get me in the spirit for it scents and then also fashion stuff all that kind of stuff so let's get right into it I have a little list on here. The first thing I just wanted to say was candles. You need candles and scents for fall. So, you know, whether that's the scent of like cinnamon and like, like pumpkin pie spice and that kind of spice scent, or if it's like pumpkins or caramel or apples. I love warm apple pie from Bath and Body Works and caramel pumpkin swirl from Bath and Body Works. And I've also found a lot of really good candles from Bath and Body Works. Okay, so during the spring and summer, I hate the Bath and Body Works smells maybe I just don't like floral tropical kind of smells but I love the fall and winter smells from Bath and Body Works so I picked up some I got my butt first coffee one which is downstairs but I've really been loving the bourbon maple and it has like this you know wood thing around it which is really cool and then I put it on this and they have a bunch of options for these little candle holders that are so fall-esque and they're like if you just like bought a bunch of these put them around your room your room would be totally transformed it would smell good it would look inspirational and then also this candle i've had for years and i couldn't use it for a while because like the wick was like gone and then we just like dug it up but it's this midnight market halloween treat scented candle so it smells like candy corn it just it basically smells like candy at, like on halloween i'm the kind of person uh, that prefers more sweet scents over like spicy even though the spicy is more fall I just like I don't know I'm more drawn to like sweeter scents although I do love the smell of coffee I don't like the taste of coffee at all but I love the smell of it so I don't know if that's even fall related but it was they were selling it during the fall time and I love it so highly recommend but anyway I really like this one it smells like Halloween love it so much so I highly recommend getting some sort of maybe aromatherapy just obvious obviously candles or like some, some sort of fragrance that'll make your room smell like fall time and you'll totally get in the spirit and it'll smell really good and it's just I can name so many other things why this is a good idea but do I even need to no you guys probably already agree with me so I'm gonna shut up about that now so the next thing is pumpkins and just little room decor pieces so i you know if you guys watch my vlogs which you definitely should if you haven't make sure you watch my daily videos i vlog almost every day but i've been naming my pumpkins this is pumpkin he was my first pumpkin that i've gotten this year and zachary broke the stem off but we super glued it back together so this is pumpkin and this is pumpkin and pumpkimberly but pumpkin for short and i got this one from target i just found her same thing with this one i just found him in the grocery store i found her in target it and she just looked like this when I bought her I don't mind it it's kind of weird but I don't mind it and you know just like having little pumpkins around and even like these one dollar velvet plushy things actually they're not velvet at all but they're actually really soft and they're really cute they're not alive so they're not gonna die and they're like little pillows like it's actually really soft and I've just Putting these kind of things around your room will totally transform your room. It'll add the colors of fall. And obviously pumpkins are so fall and I can't even think of another word other than just so fall and they're great. So I highly recommend getting some pumpkins and some little decor pieces, garlands. I have a little garland up here. You can't see it, but I have a little garland up here. And then over here I have little, those kind of garlands, like wreath kind of things. But just adding things like that, like totally transform your room. And like same thing with like colors. Colors, just adding colors of fall obviously my room still kind of looks kind of bright so um, I'm still transitioning I'm not exactly there yet I mean it's only oh my gosh it's the middle of September
September. Oh my gosh, fall starts in two days. How did I not realize that? I'm filming this on September 19th, not sure when it's going up. I'm hoping very, very soon, but I'm kind of in an editing mood, but I didn't have a video to edit, so that's why I'm filming. So maybe I'll edit it today, maybe it'll go up tomorrow. Let's hope, probably not. But it is the 19th when I'm filming this and fall starts on the 21st. Oh my God, I'm so excited. But as I was saying, <laughs> I'm strange, guys. Get used to it. But with the colors, like things like warm tones, like sort of warm tones, but like deep warm tones, like deep reds, oranges, maroon, burgundy, you know, th kind of colors like, like this. I have a whole pile of clothes here to talk about, but kind of colors like this and like this, and I'll show you all the rest of them, but like you guys probably know what kind of colors are correlated with fall, and I just love putting those around my room, and when it comes to fashion, things like deep florals are really, really in for fall, so if you get like, I have like a black jumpsuit with like little flowers on it, it's really, really cute, it's really, really comfortable, and it's really folly, folly, because it's like you're not wearing like bright flowers, because those are more like springy and summery, but if you're wearing like dark florals, then it's more fall, because it's not winter yet, you're still transitioning, so you know, you don't have to like dress like in a giant bulky jacket with like sweatpants and like a sweatshirt, like you don't need to like bundle yourself up exactly yet, but things like that. I'm gonna get into the fashion in a minute, which actually I'm gonna get into it right now. Let's start with the shoes though. As I was just saying, it's kind of a transitional period, so you don't exactly have to wear like boots, like snow boots, winter boots yet, but you can wear little things like booties and like wedges and stuff. I have one of my new favorites from Famous, no, Rack Room Shoes, and they're just these little kind of wedge things. Are they booties? No, they're not booties, they're wedges. And they're just black, but they're, they're super comfortable. It doesn't feel like you're walking in heels, and they're kind of like a velvety material, I guess. Actually, I really don't know how to describe this material, but there's like laces on it, which actually are laces, so you can tighten them and loosen them. But I think they're so good for fall, and I love these shoes. Things get buried under this giant pile. And also with my moccasins, I've been obsessed with my moccasins lately because I think they're just, they're so easy to slip on, first of all, in the morning. I'm always rushing in the morning because I get up at 5.45 in the morning every day, and I have to leave an hour later. So I just, I'm kind of rushing a lot in the morning. So I've just been really obsessed with these. They're perfect for fall because they got like this inside of it. So it's nice and warm, they're easy to slip on. They're not like super heavy, bulky boots yet. They're just, I don't know. I just think moccasins are really good for fall. I don't know why, I can't shut my mouth. I ramble way too much. Okay, so flannels, dresses, and jumpsuits. As you guys know, I've talked about this many times before, I have problems with my sensory issues. So I don't wear tops and bottoms often, but I love dresses and jumpsuits. All of my dresses are like buried under here. Be right back. I have a lot of them. Okay, so I have this giant pile of clothes here now, and I still have clothes down here. But I just love, I think flannels and plaid and stuff is just perfect for the fall. So I have this green flannel. Is this flannel or plaid? I don't know, but it's a super comfy dress from Target. I wore it yesterday, so I'm gonna kind of be putting some things in the hamper. This from Bass, as I've shown you a few times in recent vlogs, it's just this plaid, black and red. It's just like, it's so fall, winter colors. It's so comfy. It's another flannel dress. It, it like I said, it's comfortable. It's folly, fall-esque. I have another flannel. I don't know the difference between plaid and flannel. I think this is flannel. I think that other one was flannel and the first one was plaid. I don't know. But it's another shirt dress from Kohl's. Oh, I just punched myself in the face. Great. Shirt. The shirt dress from Kohl's. So comfy. So fall-esque. This is from Target. Another one. I have a lot of them because they're so, so comfy and easy to just slip on in the morning because a lot of the time I'm just like so lethargic in the morning. It's 5.45 in the morning. I don't feel like looking all like I'm going into a cotillion because I'm not I'm going to freaking school. So they're just so easy to throw on. They're so comfy. They're so fall-esque. The colors are great. This is actually a giant man's t-shirt, I think. I can't tell. Yeah, this is size says 10 M, like a zero or two. So it's like this giant shirt, I think, but it's like, it looks like a dress on me and it's so comfy. I kind of just take another one of these like dresses belts and I just tie it around there and it's so fine. And then with jumpsuits, I have this from Old Navy. 
Love this. It's so comfy. It's so comfy. So comp. And then this one from Target. It was even better because it's like the fall. This color though. This color though. This is like fall in an outfit right here. I just pair this with a scarf and a denim jacket, which I'm going to get into both those things. And it's just like the perfect fall outfit. It's so comfy. It's a little bit big on top for me because I got no boobies. But it's super comfortable. comfortable. And if I just put a scarf over it and a jacket over it, you can't even like see that it's big on top so if you struggle with that like i do i always just wear a jacket and a scarf and it completely covers it up and then like i was talking about with the dark florals this is the jumpsuit i was just talking about it's so cute it's so comfortable i've had it for a little while now and it still fits perfectly and i feel like I'm, it's still gonna last a while i'm not growing anytime soon i mean i hope i am but i haven't been so but it's just great because all these are extra small so they're all gonna last a little while it's because they're all for adults and it's just i I love it so much i think this is perfect for fall because you still got the flowers on it because it's still like somewhat warm out but it's like dark so the deep florals are just really in for fall so that is that and another fashion thing fashion section i don't know is denim denim is so fall like so fall that's all i'm gonna say it's all i'm gonna describe anything now it's just fall <laughs> but i have this dress it's sort of like more for like the beginning of fall when it's still a little bit warmer but it's still this it's not denim it's just like has the denim color it's so comfortable it's off the shoulder it's i don't know i, I hate when like sometimes off the shoulder things like you can't you feel like you can't move your arms at all you can move actually move your arms from, with these. these this is from old navy and it's so comfortable it's so soft and i think it's really good for like you know september and then this is my denim jacket which i wear almost every day because it is my favorite jacket. I love it so much. It's always cold in my school, so I'm gonna get into the other jacket I just recently bought, but I love denim for fall. It's so comfortable. I used to hate denim jackets, and I feel like a lot of people hate denim jackets, but they're so cute. They're so trendy. They're so fall, and they're actually really comfortable, so I love this, and I'm about to... I'm about to. Not today, but eventually I want to buy a dark version. This is actually a kid's, like, extra large, but I love it from Target the cat and jack brand but i have a light one but i don't have a dark one so i'm thinking about getting one of a dark one i think i can't speak okay so yeah totally recommend denim stuff for fall time and as i was just saying with the other jacket i just recently bought from target <laughs> go to target way too much this is a size small in adults and it's like a little bit big but it's like perfect that way because jackets like this you kind of want to be a little bit looser and it's like fleece on the inside so it's so warm and soft it's so cozy it has like buttons and it's this gray thing with the, the belt around it. I buy a lot of things with belts. I don't know. I just feel like it looks better on me. And it has a little hook that you can hang it up on hooks with. And I don't know. Because I think fall is like a transitional time from summer to winter. And it's like it's getting a little bit colder. But it's not like it's not time for a giant bulky jacket. Like because my winter jacket, it's a great jacket. It's really high quality. It was kind of expensive. But it's such a good quality quality jacket but it's huge and bulky it keeps me really warm but i feel like if i was gonna wear a jacket like that in the fall i would be freaking hot as balls i would be sweating so i don't want a jacket that big and bulky but i also want something a little bit heavier than that denim jacket so i wanted a kind of in between jacket so i thought this one was perfect it is perfect and it wasn't that expensive from target highly recommend i still have the tag on it because i just bought it the other day but i already love it because i tried it on in the store i haven't worn it anywhere else yet sorry i keep tapping on the screen my lighting keeps i don't know what's happening <laughs> there we go okay so i have two more things to talk about actually technically three but i wanted to talk about scarves i have my giant hook thing where i hang all my scarves on actually i have another scarf down here i was wearing it the other day so i never hung it back up but i think scarves are the perfect thing for this fall and winter especially fall it's just first of all it covers up the fact i have no boobs but that's not most girls problem but really it like it keeps your neck warm not only that but it's also just really a nice accessory it's stylish it just like spices up any outfit if you're just wearing like a bland color and you just throw a scarf on it i love my infinity scarf 
scarves. I really don't wear any other scarf other than infinity scarves for some reason. I don't know, those are just my favorites. Those are really the only ones I like. I don't mind other kinds of scarves. I just more drawn to infinity scarves. So I have this one. It's like a lot lighter and it, there's kind of glitter stripes on it so I don't wear it as much. This is just a basic one. I think this one was from Primark. I have a black, no it's not. I have a black one from Primark that was $3. Normally these are really expensive too, which is great. I have this super soft army green one, just basic black one. I have like a more floral one for kind of the more springtime. I have this white one that's really soft. This one, another purple one. I just wear scarves a lot during the fall and winter because I just, I love them so much. So I highly, highly, highly recommend getting scarves and they're just part of my essentials. They're not even that expensive if you go to like Target, Old Navy, stores like that. So two more things that I'm gonna do really quickly. Fall is a time where you just wanna be cozy, you know? You're getting into the colder season, you just wanna be cozier. So I love my cozy blanket. This was $10 from Target and it has little pumpkins on it, little jack-o'-lanterns, and I love it. It's so soft. I sleep with it every night now. And I just wrap myself up in it when I'm cold. It's festive, it's soft, it's warm. So go to Target, guys. There's so many things from Target. And just, you know, I highly recommend this. And then this is more for like wintry, but I still start wearing it towards the end of fall, like in November, is my onesie. I love my onesie. I have a sleep romper with long sleeves. You guys probably have seen my vlogs. If you haven't, go watch them. A little shameless self promo like three times in this video. But I have like a romper, so it's shorts and long sleeves, and it's not fleece. But this one is so so warm. I mean, I'll get really hot if it's warm outside, so I'm not gonna wear it when it's warm outside, but it's so warm. It's soft, it's fleece, and it's just so festive. The colors, like I said, it's more wintry, but still I start wearing it in the later parts of fall. So that is all I have for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you guys out for it with your fall essentials and sharing my fall essentials. I enjoyed filming this video. I think I'm gonna enjoy editing it. So if you like to give it a big thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video and my channel to those of you who think might be interested and leave me comments down below so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed love you bye